how are you, my friends? This uh, video is presenting eight old exam questions related to laws of logarithms and change of base formula in lecture number six of the pre-calculus course. Question number one, we have to evaluate the following expression. There are two brackets here. I will do one by one. If we look at the first bracket here, we see square root of 125, which is five cubed. Square root of that becomes five to the power three over two. See, this is in the denominator. We raise it up to numerator. It becomes log base five of five to the power minus three over two. So I can use this property here. Log base a, a to the power x is equal to x. So the first bracket only minus three over two. Now let's look at the second one, ln of ln of e to the power, e to the power 200. So I can make e to the power 200, let's call it m, just to make it easy. So this is like ln of e to the power m, see that? Now we know ln of e to the power m is equal to m. So I can take the whole bracket inside the bracket here as e to the power 200 which is e to the power m, ln of e to the power m is m. So that will be e to the power 200. Now again, I can say ln of e to the power 200 is 200. Same rule here. See, ln of e to the power m is equal to m. So minus three over two times 200 becomes, cancel the two, minus 300. Second question, we need to expand the expression by using the laws log of the square root of x, the square root of y, square root of z. Just go slowly and use, see this one, the square root of all this becomes x times this to the power half. The first square root here, you see? The outside one. So this half becomes half log of this. Now we have a product inside here, x times this, so I can use the laws of logarithms, log, this is base 10 for sure, log of x plus log of this square root y times square root of z. See, the half is outside. So I can use the same thing here. The square root of y square root of z will be y square root of z all to the power half. So I can bring the half here before the log. So it will be half log of this is a product now. See, there is another half outside. So I can multiply half times log of x, half times half is one over four times the bracket here, use the laws, the product here, log of y plus log of square root of z. Now I can use again, z to the power half. So when you multiply half outside with one over four, becomes one over eight log of z. <clears throat> this is the uh, opposite. <clears throat> we have to write all this as a single logarithm. <clears throat> we see here the bases are not the same. One base is one over eight, another base square root of two, and there is one here. So what can we do? This one we know we can change it to log base two of two because two is the best number here between one over eight and square root of two. Now I can change the base for the first two terms to base two. Remember, I put six here, log base two of wx, log base two of eight to the power minus one. And then minus four, change the base here to two. So log base two of y power minus one, log base two of square root of two. And as I mentioned before, leave the one as log base two of two, leave it now. So this one, two to the power minus three, you know, the eight, two to the power three, and there's a minus one. So the whole of this is minus three. When you cancel, you get minus two there. Two to the power half. So half becomes here. Four over half is eight. And there is a minus now. Let's continue. This is the formula for change of base in case you need to remember the formula. So I can take log base two, of y, see I put this one here, y, I will show you y. 
You can take this minus two up if you want. See minus two here, you can take it up. But I put the y first, log base two, y to the power, minus one minus eight becomes y power eight. So that's a plus. Leave the minus here, take the two up in the power, wx squared, so w squared x squared, and leave this minus log base two of two. This becomes here a division, y power eight divided by wx all squared. This is another division, see? This over this, divided by, because that's a minus. This is all u minus log base two, this is a v. So two will be there down. Whatever method you use, you apply in the properties and the laws, you will get log base two of y to the power eight divided by two w squared x squared. Try to leave the power here positive powers up and down with the easiest base here, which is two. Now here we have two numbers, e is equal to this, h is equal to that, find the value of e minus h. Now let's look at the solution of question number four. We have e, we can see in the e we have the base two and base square root of three. Let's leave base two and change base square root of three into base two. So this becomes log base two of 16 on this side here divided by log base two of square root of three. Now, we see a to one is three to the power four, 16 is two to the power four, and square root of three, three to the power half. Now let's go slowly here. We have a power here. So this is log base a u to the power n. So this is the power law. So four comes down log base two of three. And this one, uh, one half comes down. So this is log base two of three. So then we can cancel the same number here. Now this is log two, base two here, two to the power four. It's already four because we have this property, log base a of a to the power x is equal to x. So four times four is 16 divided by half becomes 32 is e. Now let's go to h here. Simplify h on the next slide and find the value of e minus h. Now h is cube root of two, two to the power one third times log base two of 27. So now go backward in the power rule. So one third, it will go on the power of 27. 27 to the power one third, which is three. So I can use now the, the uh, property here a to the power log base a of x is equal to x, which is three. So h will be three. So e minus h, 32 minus three is 29. Question number five, we have to use also the properties backwards. Three ln of x plus two minus ln of x minus ln of 10, change it to one single logarithm. So first, I take the power three here backwards. It will be ln of x plus two to the power three minus. I can take a minus here common factor from the last two, it becomes here plus. So the plus becomes a product. Or if you want, you can take the first two as a division. Then you can continue, make another division. Be careful here. Both will give you the same answer. So let's look at my method here. I take a minus common factor in the last two. So it becomes ln of 10 X, that's a product. Now we have this minus this, it becomes ln of quotient, X plus two cubed divided by 10 X. Now compare it with the question, X plus two to the power A divided by BX. So A here is the three and B is the 10, AB is 30. This is an important question because in the given we have log base two, x and y there. In the required, we have log base square root of two. We need the answer in terms of x and y. So the good idea, best idea here is to change the base from the required here into base two so that we can use the given. So directly I go log base square root of two, 30, change it to base two. 
So this becomes log base two of 30, log base two of square root of two. This is half here. 30, I can make it five times six, which is five times three times two. So I can use also the uh, product. So this will be log base two of five, log base two of three, log base two of two. This is one. And the first one is given X, the second one is given Y. And there is a half, see half in the denominator, one over half becomes two. So two X plus two Y plus two is the final answer. Here we have small numbers, M is equal to all this. And there is a little trick in the N. And then find, simplify M, simplify N, multiply M times N. Let's see the first one. The first one, M is equal log base three over two of the argument here, eight over 27. Now we know this property here. So eight over 27, I can make it two over three to the power three. See, I see here the base three over two, but the argument here in the argument, we have two over three. So I can change it to three over two with the power minus one. So M becomes log base three over two, argument three over two to the power minus three, which is the X minus three. So M will be minus three. Let's go to N, which is more difficult. Now, N we have a square root of three. So three power half, we have log of four, divided by log of three. See, remember, I have to make it one log there. This is division. I cannot use the laws where you have a subtraction. That's wrong. But I can go back in the change of base. See, this is the change of base. Go back. So it will be log base three of four. See this one here, division. See division? I can make it log base three of four. Then I can take half on the power of four. So the final question becomes here in the N, three to the power log base three of two. You see, that's so easy. So this is only two. So two times minus three and N is minus six. This is not easy question. With the given here, we have log of 0 0.4 is equal to K. So we see that the base is 10. And we need to find log base 2 of 20 in terms of k. So the idea here is clear. Take the required here, change it to base 10. So change the required to base 10. So I can start here log base 2 of 20 becomes log of 20 base 10. And this is divided by log of 2 base 20. So 20 is 10 times 2. So this is log of 10 plus log of 2 divided by log of 2. I know log of 10 is 1 by the property. So this becomes 1 plus log of 2 divided by log of 2. I don't have log of 2. So let's call this equation star. <clears throat> Go to the given here. Log of 0 0.4 is equal to k. Play with the numbers. 0 0.4 becomes 4 over 10. See, 4 is 2 squared. And this is in the argument, so it becomes log 4 minus log of 10 is equal to k. And 4 is 2 squared. So on the next slide, we can see directly 2 log of 2 minus 1 is equal to k. All right. So what is log of 2? k plus 1 over 2. So let's call this equation v. Remember, this is the required here. So this is equation V. So let's replace equation V in equation star. See, this is equation star. One plus log of two divided by log of two. So now it becomes one plus K plus one over two divided by K plus one over two. We call this in algebra complex fraction. So here add in the numerator and then here we can cancel the two so it becomes two plus K plus one, which is K plus three over K plus two. That's the answer for log base two of 20. Now these are the answers again. For more examples, please, to see more examples similar to these ideas, you can see the pre-calculus course lecture number 
six laws of logarithms. Thank you for watching. If you liked the video, you can subscribe and share it with your friends. I hope I can see you in another video with another topic. Thank you very much.